Here at Abamia, you can have a single pallet, a twin pallet, or as we are standing on, a multi-pallet machine. So let's talk automation with Abamia. Oh, Yane, we could not be standing on a better location in the middle of a machine and a pallet pool. Um, just briefly, can you tell us what automation you provide to your customers? Okay, for automation or for automating, just give us your problem and we'll find you the solution. We are not close to anything. Just give us the problem and we'll You'll find, find the it. Solution. Yeah. So how do you simplify that for your customers though, with the whole, because you've got so many machines that you offer to market? Yeah, mainly we uh, uh, part the automation in bigger components and smaller components, also all uh, linked to the machine size. Uh, for example, in the small si uh, sizes, we go to a commercial. Wow. Um, I'm speaking about the T-Series, for example, but in the big uh, sizes, we go to our pallet pool that is a very good uh, solution for these big sizes that we manage in Ivarmia with the big machines. And you've got some real success stories, haven't you? Yeah, we have uh, automated several machines and work in several projects that are still in working, like a um, single line for six pallets or also we have uh, high storage uh, with 25, 20 two pallets with more than one loading station, that, that those solutions, we, we work on that. This is a problem, the customer had a, very, a problem with the space, so we go on height to prevent the, the, the subfloor occupation, and that, that is a solution that, that we can do, and it's something that we work on. Yaki, what does automation mean to you at Ibarmia? Here in Ibarmia, for us, automation uh, is related with two concepts, the easy and the use. The use is the concept of uh, maximizing the real machining time of the machine. Uh, so let's say that we are thinking of solutions to take out from the machine area the things related with the uh, with the centering of the parts, the loading and loading of the parts, uh, related with the management of the tools uh, from one side. And from the other side is the concept of uh, easy, make things easy. I mean, we offer uh, a bunch of uh, solutions and options to make easier the, the use of our machines by cameras, by options for connectivity, by options for, for technological cycles, uh, make things easy. And the combination of the easy and the use give us the profitability. Uh, that is really the final goal of our customers. What are the benefits of automating larger components over smaller components that we, we often see? Okay, when we think about automation, in many cases we think of the small parts, but the bigger the part is, let's say that the bigger machine you need, um, let's say that the hourly rate is also related with the time. So it is worth it is worth to think about automation in medium size and big size parts. And is it easy to automate then with these medium to large components? Okay, of course, sometimes it's, it's challenging. I mean, the, the bigger part we have, the more challenges we have to, to, to confront and to face. But right now in Ivarmia we have uh, a whole range of solutions uh, to fulfill the let's say the automation requirements of our customers. Uh, starting from roto pallet solutions, pallet pool solutions, up to fluid uh, solutions that later we will talk also. You're in the future with automation as well, yeah. which the future is here, it's now yeah. with AGVs. Yeah, we can also offer uh, the, the automation, the flow automation um, that allows you the, to have the storage in a, another room or in another facility because you don't have a space next to the machine and so this AGV can go and pick the, the part and come and bring it to the machine or whatever you need. Maybe you, you need to um, empty the chip... Uh, um, the swarf. Yeah. Yeah, the swarf bin. So 
it can also give you this this problem, solve you this problem. Multi, the, the AGVs give you a lot of uh, solutions to your problems. I think globally we are seeing an issue with uh, people. Yeah. And so what we're trying to do is automate the process, the whole process for the overnight run. Yeah. So the less interaction that people have with the machines, the better yeah, in many because, cases. Um, when you try and automate a machine, what you are looking for is uh, maybe uh, less um, attention to the machine and you can use the ability of that uh, worker in another place and meanwhile the machine is working and you, you don't have to be on the machine looking what it's doing So because you know that when one piece is ended, the other one is going to come in and, and give you the, the running that it gives you. And also, night shifts are hard. And when you have a machine like this, with big uh, pieces, with long runs, uh, this can be very tedious, so you can just leave the machine working alone through the night, and when you come in the morning, it's everything is ready for you to, to, to unload. Um, just my personal question to you, though. A lot of automation we see is in smaller components. You do yeah. nothing like that. All of your components are big, heavy, normally needing uh, uh, cranes to lift it. Yeah. So what, what do people often ask? I guess, what is the main question people are coming to you asking? Well, mainly uh, the people come and give it, give, ask us the question of big components because this, the market doesn't have this solution um, for big, big pieces, uh, transfer of six tons, 15 tons. So that's the solution that we try to give with our pallet pool, that big loads that, that can be transferred in a, a dynamic, automatic way that, that give you that solution. Right, thank you. You're welcome.